We are seeing many examples where the use of digital technology is helping serve underserved citizens and provide services better, faster. Speaking from a community point of view, it's been an outstanding opportunity for including more people who've not been able to get services and resources. Let me give an example. By having a 311 system and being able to provide very fast response to citizen complaints, local levels of governments are using online services in ways that shorten the time and provide fast, agile, smart services. We're now finding innovative new response systems. An app in California recently tested out allows people who have advanced training in life support to be able to be notified by their cell phone when somebody in a public space is an emergency 911 call. Getting help to them within one or two minutes may be life-saving while you're waiting for the full ambulance support. I think it's a, a process where institutions, local governments, must be more responsive. If you're used to going online and getting customer service, making purchases, accessing a, a digital medical records, doing remote medical service processes, you'll begin to demand of local government institutions that you'll be able to do that as well. And so I think it's actually the citizen being able to more fully engage with the local government officials and force government officials, whether it's the use of popular media, we've seen this of course globally uh, with uh, social media, particularly um, uh, the, the way in which people are communicating to organize themselves to demand action or to change a government. That's a powerful new force that must be recognized and provides a new way for leaders to respond. We've got to make sure that everybody is connected in this digital inclusion thinking. Otherwise, this gap or this chasm means that some people will benefit and those who are unable to be connected will not benefit. Uh, you can't apply for benefits or a job today without going to a library and applying online if you have no connection to the web. So we're working with uh, TechNet to build a national portal that will take all the best broadband innovation projects for adoption and use and impact and share those with all those who are out there that are working to try to include more people in the use of uh, the digital revolution. In many parts of the world, uh, fiber optic systems are being built like interstate highway systems were in this country. They're built by the government. That's not the model that's taking place in this country. So we're creating a concept called a smart city bond where municipal bonding partnered with local private sector companies, provide the financing to uh, install fiber optic systems that help you make smart technology that runs your city better and faster.